Hi, welcome back to my Allen Bradley PLC test bench. In this episode, we're going to be testing the 1756 OF4, which is a four channel voltage or, an or current analog output. I have two of these that I've tied into a single 1756 IF8. The nice thing about this is the number of outputs match the number of inputs, and we get individual testing of each and every channel. This also shows the differences between how a voltage output and a current output are wired. There are separate parts to each module for voltage and current. It's not the same components inside when you start to look at the manual and the wiring diagrams. So we'll just get swung around here. Um, I'll show you how we're set up on the chassis. Then we'll go over to the software and uh, we'll, and have a look at that. Be right back. Hi, welcome back to the test bench. So here's our setup. We're in voltage mode for all three cards. OF4, OF4, IF8. This card here is feeding the bottom four inputs. This card feeding the top four. Now, if as you can see, there's no jumper in here. And each of these commons here, which is a white and black, just comes to the commons there. So that's voltage mode. Now in milliamp or current mode, we just take these off. And I have another set here. This is for current mode, single-ended. And what it does is these nine pins here are all jumpered together with a single bar. So, and on the outputs, all of the returns are jumpered together. And you can see that, here's the uh, voltage one, the voltage comes out of the top, the current the next one. So that shows you right there that there are different components inside of each card for different for voltage and current. So what we'll do next is just swing around over to the uh, screen and uh, go through a little bit of a uh, couple of things on the configuration and a uh, quick couple of tests. Right back. All right, so here we are at the screen. So we're still in voltage mode, and I have. A I've written a routine in one program for testing voltage mode. So here's our output card in slot 3 and it's feeding uh, channel 0, 1, 2 and 3 on the M on the IF8. The second output card is is doing 4, 5, 6 and 7. Stumbling a bit here today. Um, so if I take, and right now it's at 8 volts positive and you can see here, that's what we're telling it, and it's 8.0002, you know, it bounces around 7999, so you can tell that they're both fairly accurate. Now if we go to negative voltage, here's negative 8, well let's go negative 4, Just so we get a good difference there. So minus 3999, uh, pretty consistent, hits 4 a little bit. like. The resolution on these is quite high. So that's, you know, you're proving all of your outputs work individually to each input. So let's go into the configuration of the IF8 real quickly here. Bring that down. And I've, this is single-ended mode. So the IF8 is float data single-ended. Go into the configuration and each channel is set up the same and this is the standard one you created as a new one is minus plus minus 10 with uh, low and high engineering and then if you go you also have to remember to go into the alarm configuration and set and either disable your alarms or use your alarms and then that's in the configure there's our and this is the alarm configuration, what to do if it happens, and then the calibration and the backplane. So 
in the calibration or alarm configuration, pardon me, you also have to make sure that these numbers here are set. If you have milliamps, that would say uh, 20 and 20 and 0 and 0. Because we're in plus minus 10 volts, it's minus 10 and plus 10. If you don't set that correctly, then you won't be getting the voltage out that you're expecting. Or if you're in milliamp mode, you won't be getting the milliamps out that you expect. It'll stop all of a sudden wherever this is set at. So that's pretty easy on the input. We go down to the output, and they're both again the same configuration. And you have to go into your module info configuration, and again, this is all voltage. So minus, from plus 10 to minus 10, and 0 to 10, and everything's the same. And then your output. Uh, state and then your limits and again these limits have to match the limits for the input where you've got your plus and minus 10 if you have if it was uh, milliamps it would be 0 and 20 so there you go uh, that's all there is to, the, to doing these things for testing but it's you can use that same sort of uh, logic that you see here for doing something in your uh, process Thanks a lot. Come back anytime. Subscribe if you'd like, and uh, have a great day. Thank you.